Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're going to look at the ATT Pro 1520 or the 1500. We're going to look at how you'd use it in um, web mode. So what that basically means is rather than using the ACT Enterprise software, we're going to use the um, web browser that's built into the controller. Uh, we're going to use that to set the system up and add a user. So you can use a standalone door, basically. You don't need the, um, the software. You can run it through a browser. So a couple of things you need to do in advance. First of all, make sure that um, your controller is reset. So from the factory, you can follow the instructions. To, to reset the device is fairly simple. Power the unit down. Uh, the two dip switches, you can look at the legend. One says default, one says DHCP. So power the unit down, set um, the default dip switch to on. There's a tamper spring on there. Press down the tamper spring. Power the unit back up. Wait for the unit to beep, not the reader. The unit will beep, give you an indication tone. Once that beeps, after about five, five to seven seconds, once it beeps, release the, the tamper spring. You'll see the red light come on. Um, remove the power. Flick the default switch to off. Power the unit back up. Wait a couple of seconds, and that's it. The unit's reset. So now we can then simply browse into it and do some admin. The um, the unit will DHCP, um, so the, the unit will have DHCP switched off. So the static address of the device is 192.168.1.60. You can change that inside the software later on. Okay, let's, um, let's go to the web browser and have a look over there. So here we are in my, in my web browser. I'm using Firefox. Uh, it works equally well in Chrome, Edge, Safari, whichever browser really. Um, the login name, we're going to use installer. That's to, to do the default, so installer. And then the password default is nine, six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, login. And that takes you to, to the system uh, settings. And from here, you can do a little bit of admin if you like. If you want to change your IP address, go to communications, change the IP address to, to whichever suits, give you network information, uh, so your subnet and your gateway. Um, and, and, and if it is on a large corporate site, maybe ask your client what, um, what ports they need to use. The other thing is administration. Click on passwords here. You can see, as you saw in my previous login, I've been on this controller before, but you can have um, a, a user login, and you need that user login to add cards to the system, or tokens to the system. So if you're gonna do that, that's fine. I'm gonna create a new one, just for, just for this case, and we'll call it admin, so it's easier for me to remember. And I'm gonna create a password. And I'm going to enable that and save. So that means we've got two admin logins. If you want one, just disable user one. It, it, make, it really makes no difference, really. As long as it's one you can remember, maybe um, if there's an overall administrator of the system and, and there's a local administrator. So the, the two, two admin logins to, to do remote work. Really, from the point of view of the installer part of this system, we've got everything we need here. There's not much else to look at, really. As long as, like I say, if you need to change the IP address, that's how you do it. Okay, let's log out to this. And we're now going to log in as admin. I'm going to use the password I created. There we are. So we're ready to go now. The um, let, Let's do the, the thing people would want to do the most, and that's allow access. Give some data. So we're going to add a new user. Um, let's call it. Now I've got two fobs, so and this one says ACT on it, so we'll say ACT fob. Um, it's in group one, we'll come to that in a moment. It's enabled, the car the fob number, the card one, the number on the fob. Uh, let me see, was it 65825? So the number printed is 65880. Um, and then we go to save. And system updated, so that fob is now saved into the controller. 
So let me give it a quick test. You heard it in the back there, but no, that's accepted. It's granted access. And, and really, that, that's a very quick way of um, getting this, this system on board. Uh, if you go to users, you can see if you need to add a new user, go to user two, uh, user number will be two, type in the number on the fob or the credential, click save, and that person's added. Uh, for doors, yeah, there's only one door on the system. You know, can test if it's working basically. Can I unlock the door? Yes. Um, can I normalize it? That's the door normalized. With the 1520, you can add the S100 door stations underneath the 1520. And you can add up to 32 of them. And that's done with a, um, an RS485 bus. So it's a very, for the 1520, is the master, and then units underneath are the, are the the S100 or the ACT Pro 100s. We can go to reports. We can see here, um, I've, I've just reset the unit. You can see the, um, the tests I've done on it. I've added a token and um, tested a couple of cards. You can see actually, in full disclosure, I typed in the wrong number there, hence why it was an unknown card. Um, user groups, user group one, which is enabled in this case. Now, basically, this is. Um, Who's allowed? Who's allowed through what door? If you remember when I was adding somebody, it asked what group I was in. So this is user group one, and basically that means they're allowed through all doors at all times. If you were to set up a time zone, you could restrict, you know, when when these people are allowed through, uh, and really that that's what that I did there. So the um, time zones, as I've just said, if you want to create a bespoke time zone for your door, maybe join working hours, the doors open, let people come and go, and outside of working hours, you'd, you'd want um, only authorised people to get in the building or the area. And if that was the case, you create a time zone, 17.30 till uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, and so on. And then further to that, we have settings, and in settings here, you can um, create a holiday. So, there's um, in the UK, obviously, we have holidays where people typically won't come and work. Um, Easter, um, spring bank holidays, um, summer bank holidays, Christmas, uh, New Year's Day, and so on. And you can add those um, holidays, the dates in the month, uh, the day in the month, and create a holiday. So that will re restrict when people can get in. So you might be allowing them in seven days a week outside the working hours, but you might not want them to come in you know, on the bank holiday. Um, passwords, self-explanatory, change your password. The date and time, the, the time of the system, um, which language is it going to be displayed in? And you can see that choice. And there we are. That's the quick setup and configuration of the ACT Pro 1520 in web mode. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.